Hi, my name is Dave Gifford. I'm a user of TiddlyWiki, and I'd like to uh, show you some of the basic uh, customization you can do for TiddlyWiki uh, to make it more to your liking. I'm going to assume that you have been exposed to TiddlyWiki, that you've downloaded your own empty HTML file from TiddlyWiki, and that you know how to uh, save TiddlyWikis uh, uh, with a Tmimi saver or some other saving tool. Um, so first things first, I'm going to just go ahead and close the Getting Started Tiddler. We're going to show you the proper way to make changes like that. And uh, the, the middle uh, icon of the Page Control button area opens up your Control Panel. And where I'm going to walk you through a few of the, of the items in this Control Panel. Uh, you can change the title in the basics in the info tab basics tab you can uh, change the title of the wiki so I'm just going to put uh, my title and you can see that that changed here in the sidebar you can change the subtitle I tend to delete it unless I need something special uh, we can skip the username for signing edits I just ignore that uh, the animation duration 400 tends to be kind of slow. Uh, if you uh, so you can see it slide away, and uh, and you can see it come back, and it's kind of slow. I tend to do 20, and I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now uh, you'll see as I close it, boom! It's right away, and it opens it. Uh, you get it right away. Um, the default tiddler that is the tiddler or selection of tiddlers that you want to open up right away when you uh, open up uh, TiddlyWiki. I'm going to put uh, HQ for, I'm going to, you don't really need it in brack brackets if it's one word, but I'm going to go ahead and um, show you another one too. Multiple word uh, title in a two a double angle brackets, okay? I'm going to save that change. Now I'm going to go ahead and reload, and you'll see that those are there. Even though those tiddlers don't exist yet, uh, it automatically opens those. So let's go back to the uh, control panel. So you can you know, create a number of tiddlers that will open up every time you start up your TiddlyWiki file. Uh, and there's more you could do with that. The titler of new tiddlers, I tend to leave that alone. Journaling, I will try to do that in some future video. The focus field for new tiddlers, if you don't want the focus to be on the title, you could have it be on the tags. So when you open up a new tiddler, as you can see, the, the cursor is open to the tags area. I'm just going to go ahead and, and I'm going to change that back to title, but at least you know what focus means. It's normally on the title. And that's good enough. Language, I'm going to show you that in a few minutes, so so hang tight on that one. All right, so that's the Info tab, Basics tab. I'm going to leave the Advanced tab alone for now. Um, that's more advanced stuff that you're not ready for yet, probably. The Appearance tab, you can change the color palette. So actually, this one I created myself. My wife's name is Blanca. And so if you click on that, you can see everything is white. That's what Blanca means. And uh, there's some orange titles. Um, you can see Cupertino. There's a, it's a dark palette. Uh, Desert Sand, that's kind of nice. Uh, Nord, another dark one. I created the rocker one that's more red and black. Um, Spartan Day and you know Twilight. There's lots of other options. I'm going to go back to vanilla, which is the basic one. All right. And uh, so that's the pa the color palettes. People tend to use themes when they're really talking about color palettes. So just be aware of that little bit of confusion in the Tiddly Wicked community there. The story view, uh, the classic is your default. That means that all of the tiddlers are there in the, what's called the story river or this part of the uh, the TiddlyWiki user interface. I tend to use zoom in uh, and I'm going to save that and that just means that 
if you create uh, two tiddlers, the only the most recent one that you created will show in the Story River. It's kind of nice just to focus on one thing. Some people get confused by the classic because everything's moving around a lot between links and so forth. Um, I tend to like zoom in, but we're going to leave it in classic for the rest of this video. All right, uh, the theme, actually, you can see if I change it uh, um, to vanilla, the shadows, uh, get rid of that, and then snow white, you see shadows that emphasizes the individual. Tiddler is just a little bit more. Uh, there are other themes available. I'll show you that in a, in a few moments. Uh, the toolbars, I'm going to let you, you can, like, you can control what is visible, let's say in the view toolbar, which is this area here. I can add new here, and you can see that the new here button. I can add the clone button, and the clone button's there. So this uh, toolbars area is a great place to uh, kind of pre-organize your which uh, buttons you want visible in the view toolbar area. There's also the edit toolbar and the editor toolbar. Try not to get those confused. <clears throat> editor toolbar is what you see, excuse me, when you <laughs> when you edit one. You've got these three buttons and you could add to that if you wanted to, but basically there are those three. The editor toolbar on the other hand is this part here, which is your buttons to format text and do a few other things like that. And you can control which ones are there when you start up. Uh, and then the page toolbar, that's the uh, uh, the toolbar that's in... Let me think, where's the main page toolbar? Oh, yeah, the, uh, the page controls. So I think I can add permaview, yes, and it will show up there. I can add import, it'll show up there. You mean you could create all, you know, you could add a whole bunch of these if you wanted to. Um, obviously, we don't have to do that, but uh, anyway, so that's that's handy. So you've got uh, these ways of controlling what buttons you have immediate access to. Uh, the layout, uh, there's only one here. I think layout is a new feature that they're going to be creating new layouts, but I haven't seen anything yet of alternate layouts. So maybe if you create a custom layout, it'll show up here. I really don't have any experience with that part, so we'll leave that alone. Theme tweaks is pretty handy as well. Um, the sidebar layout, you've got this, what it, currently the default is that the story river is fixed and the sidebar is fluid. Uh, so that when you change the, the width of the story, the sidebar stays in place. I'm sorry, the opposite. Anyway, uh, and then you can switch it around so that the story is fluid and the sidebar is fixed. And that also changes the width of the tiddlers of the story river. Um, I'm going to show you something that will make this make part of this irrevel. I'll show you in another video the re the sidebar resizable uh, plugin, which is really handy. You can just drag to widen or, or narrow the, the sidebar. It's great. Sticky titles, uh, default is no, but you can make it S, uh, yes, I mean, and that means that uh, you can watch the control panel here. Even though I'm sliding the uh, this long tiddler up and down, uh, the control panel stays in place. That's really handy when you're moving up and down the, the story river or in a long tiddler and you still want to have access to these buttons and so forth. So yeah, it's a good idea to have those to be uh, sticky. Um, I want to show you fonts in another video at some point. Um, you can also have a, an image for your page background, which is everything behind the tiddlers, but we're not going to mess with that. Just know that you can customize it in that way. Uh, the font size for the tiddler body I mean, I'll, I'll show you. There, boom, there's 30. Let's switch back to 14, though. <laughs> uh, you can change that. You can change the line height that the text is found in and so forth. Uh, the resizable uh, plugin that I'll show in another video, 
I will make all this irrelevant, so I'm not going to really show you that at this point. Let's move on to the settings tab. This is a really, to me, this is a really important tab. Uh, the camel case wiki links, I don't use those. Some people swear by them, and I understand that. But it has a problem in that any, like McDonald's or any Irish name where there's a mick before the word, or any company name that has a camel case where there's lowercase and then an uppercase and then more lowercase again, uh, it, it, it creates missing tiddlers and I, I don't like it. So I just uh, un, un, I <coughs> unenable it, disenable it, I don't know. Anyway, disable it, I disable that. Um, you can pick, I mean, right now the default for the, this is the, sidebar tab and then this is the more sidebar tab for the the more sidebar tab you can pick which one is first so like if you use system tiddlers a lot it's pretty handy to make that your default in there you can also set your default sidebar tab the default is open i tend to use uh, recent a lot and i tend to use more a lot so um, you can pick which one you find uh, most helpful. Uh, your editor toolbar, yeah, you're going to want to show your editor toolbar unless you just don't like that kind of thing. Can't imagine why, but anyway. Um, and then you've got some other things, how to, what happens when you open a tiddler, if it opens below the current tiddler, or above it, or at the very top of the story river, at the very bottom, whatever you fancy. And then when you navigate from outside the story river, like for example in the sidebar, uh, what, where will those tiddlers open up? At the top or at the bottom of the story river? Very handy. Uh, Wiki links, enable links to missing tiddlers. That's default. If you don't like that, you can change it. Uh, these are things, I'm not gonna go into this right now, but there are actually several different ways of configuring navigation in your address bar of your browser. Um, if you want to include the target tiddler and the current story sequence or just the target tiddler or not update the address bar as you move from tiddler to tiddler, that's up to you. Um, and then, well, sorry about that. Um, and then, where was I? You can update the browser history when you navigate to a tiddler. The default is to not do that. And then uh, you can choose how do you handle permalink and permaview, which is, this could be the subject for another video. Um, and then you can display tiddler titles as links. Watch what happens up here to the tiddler title. When I do that, it turns blue. And uh, that, that makes it handy especially like if you want to drag your tiddler to another tiddlywiki file of yours, or simply if you want to like drag a, a tiddler over to the, there's sidebar things that can capture your, your tiddler titles and so forth. I, I tend to like the tiddler titles as links. You can choose what, what your watch, watch up here, the button styles. Uh, you can have them boxed I'm not a real fan of that. And uh, then you can also uh, change it to a rounded. And again, that's, you know, it's okay, but uh, not a fan. I like the board, the plain borderless myself. That's just my personal preference. Um, and you can include the icon in to, to toolbar buttons, or you can include the text. So you can see if I've, I've included the text to these, and that sure makes them a lot longer, but as you're learning them, that might come in handy. Um, so that's the settings uh, tab. The saving, uh, we'll leave for another video. Uh, the plugins tab is your the last one I want to show you of the control panel. Uh, this is really great for uh, getting more things that will help you. Uh, currently, we have no languages installed and only two themes and one plugin, which is the core. So I'm gonna 
click the Get More Plugins and Open Plugin Library. Then all of a sudden you see that there are 32 languages available. And I'm going to go ahead and find Spanish. I work in Mexico. So I'm going to go ahead and install Castellano. And, uh, and then I'm going to go back up to uh, themes. And I'm going to pick a theme to add. Uh, the centralized uh, makes, the, makes the tiddler show up in the middle of the, uh, of the screen. I'm also going to save the seamless one. And these won't be in, uh, installed. I'm just going I mean they'll be installed to your file but they won't be visible when you go back. We'll have to actually open those. And then plugins, uh, I'm just to show you that there's a whole heap of of uh, standard default plugins that you can add. And I, I don't think there's any here that are necessary to get when you first start out your file. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, close the plugin library. I'm just going to go ahead and close that. And now you can see we have four themes and one language. I'm going to go ahead and change it to language. Change the language to uh, Spanish. And now, <laughs> and it's not working. Everything's in English. Uh, let me go over to the uh, control panel and change, oh I'm in the control panel and I'm going to go to the info basics thing, scroll down and I'm going to change the language to Castellano and so then you see open becomes abiertos recent becomes recientes, tools becomes herramientas more becomes mass, and the same thing here to información and everything else, right? Let's go get, for those of you who don't speak Spanish like I do, uh, let's just not confuse you any, let's leave it in English. Okay, so uh, that is uh, languages, and then let me show you those themes, uh, where am I, okay, appearance, and theme, and we now have the centralized and seamless themes available to us because we got it from that plugin tab. Uh, I'm going to change it to uh, centralized, and you can see then it is indeed centralized. And I'm going to go with the seamless. What that does is uh, completely gets rid of the color changes between uh, the uh, Story River and the Tiddlers and the sidebar. So everything is white. I mean, you could change the color, it could be all red, but. You know, uh, I think. Anyway, I've never done that, but uh, yeah, the seamless is pretty nice too if you want something really clean looking. But we're going to go back to Snow White just to keep things uh, basic. And uh, that then is pretty much everything I wanted to show you. Uh, the other thing I could maybe show you is just that in the toolbar, tools menu, which I really honestly never use uh, you can change the language there as well okay um, but I, I honestly I tend to get rid of the tools uh, tab I never use it so uh, I hope that has been a helpful uh, introduction to ways that you can quickly customize tiddlywiki without really hardly any plugins at all and in other videos, I'll try to show you some other special customizing things and some plugins and some searching and other things. But this is just my first video attempt to, as a tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it.